805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Randall Avolio. Randall is the CEO of C International. Welcome, Randall. Thank you, Cinder. It's so nice to be back with you again. I'm so glad that you're here. Your organization is doing such amazing things for so many people. Would you tell us a little bit about that? I'd be happy to. So Sea International has been in Santa Barbara for over 40 years, and we're based here primarily because our founder, Dr. Harry Brown, mm -hmm. this is where was here where his practice was uh, way back uh, in the in the 70s when he started Gosh. doing the. Uh, the, the volunteer work around the world. So that's where the organization was originally launched. And we have just been growing since that, uh, since that time, really uh, an amazing amount. And we've given sight back over those 40 years to over uh, half a million people worldwide. Wow. Yeah. Now, what do you attribute the growth to and how would you sort of describe that growth? The growth really has to do with the fact that we have such a wonderful coalition of the willing, as I call it. We have doctors who volunteer from all over the United States. And our model is a model that only goes and serves in developing countries where a host doctor is overwhelmed. Oh. So we only go by invitation only. Oh. So it's a host who's backed up, has more uh, patients to deal with and they can manage, uh, asking for help, and then C will send a U.S.-based doc along with supplies and microscopes, and then they get together and they'll hold a clinic where they'll do anything from 100, 200, all the way up to 500 or 700 uh, cataract surgeries at a time. Oh, and C goes out currently uh, over 220 separate times a year to over 40 countries all over the world. So any given week out of Santa Barbara, uh, we're getting ready to supply two, three, four, five different programs that are happening uh, around the world. So the, it's grown because there's been this organic need around the world mm -hmm. And wonderful U.S. corporations who are willing to give of their supplies and the doctors who are willing to go out there and volunteer along with nurses and other professionals. So really the reason for the growth beyond the fact that we just have had phenomenal donors within Santa Barbara that support us and then throughout the United States that really fuels the work that, that we do. And what people don't realize is that someone goes from blind to sighted mm -hmm. anywhere in the world for fifty dollars full in and then they don't need anything else for the rest of their lives because once their cataract has been taken out and in uh, IOL uh, a lens has been put in uh, they don't need anything else to see uh, often uh, you know 2020 for the rest of their lives so how do these overwhelmed docs find out about you? It's really a lot of word of mouth at this really? point in time. Over the years, our, our, uh, our site is well known. We're at uh, C, uh, S -E -E -I -N -T -L .org. And there is a network of ophthalmologists. People know us from all the work we've done in Africa, oh. Asia, the Pan Pacific, Latin America. There's not that many humanitarian eye organizations out there in the world. We all kind of know oh, is one that another. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's certainly the only one in this area. I, it's, it's certainly the only one in, in this area. There, there are wonderful organizations that we partner with, like, for instance, a Himalayan Cataract 
we partner with, uh, with, that, with that fine organization. And oftentimes we'll talk to one another and we'll, say, we'll, see, we'll see who has a little better funding at any given time mm -hmm. or whether one organization has a little bit more equipment or a little bit more peop, uh, human resource or mm -hmm. whatever that might be. And we, uh, we work together because, as, uh, as I was told many years ago uh, by the founder of C, I, I always remember this quote, he said, there's enough blindness to go around. So there really isn't any kind of competition. <laughs> oh, gosh. For, we, we're just all trying to get out there and serve. And uh, a fact that a lot of people don't know is that the number of people with cataracts out there in the world today is roughly about 18 million. So C has restored about half a million of those folks back, back wow. to being sighted. But by 5050, that number is supposed to grow to uh, 50 million people by, 20, by, by 2050, that is. Now, why is that? Why, why, why is that number growing? Uh, population. Oh. Growth. Okay. And as much work as everyone is trying to do, we just need to do more and more. We need to train more ophthalmologists. We need to get more supplies and uh, do everything that we can to combat uh, avoidable blindness around the world. Because avoidable blindness is something that not only takes a person out of the workforce, mm -hmm. it really takes away their spirit, their dignity. Of course. Uh, there was a story of uh, a team that was going around in Africa and trying to find everyone that was blind so that they could help serve them. And they came upon a hut and they, they asked, uh, is there anyone in there? And the person answered no, which is always interesting when someone says no, are you in there? And, uh, <laughs> and they said, well, what do you mean? And she said, only a blind person. So this oh, is something where golly. people's dignity just goes away and their they don't, their personhood goes away. And often a child or young adult is assigned essentially to, to help them walk, to oh. take care of them. Of so you end up losing two people out of the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at our website, we have some wonderful videos that were professionally done. One about a, 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 a coffee farmer who essentially couldn't tend the fields anymore, mm -hmm. couldn't take care of his, uh, of his coffee process, so he had to have his uh, young teenage girls and his wife tend to the work that he typically did. Mm -hmm. All he could do is lean on a shovel. Oh, gosh. And then there is a, a, just a beautiful video of where he's just walking down, being led by hand to have his, surgeries, his surgery done, and then... Uh, uh, at the end, he is then able to go back and work in his livelihood and have his life res Gosh. restored. So we have tons of stories just, just like that. Gee yeah. whiz, transforming lives. Yeah. So how do these doctors that volunteer to go on these trips, how do they find out about you? Oh, you know, it's the same thing that we're just very well known after being for, uh, around for 40 years. Ophthalmologists are a very busy subspecialty piece of the overall medical system out there. So they really don't have the time to mm. contact ind individual vendors to try to get supplies, to try to coordinate where they would best go, uh, to do all the things about dealing with uh, the ministries of health and customs. There's a lot that goes into it. So we'll have doctors approach us at conferences that'll say, we tried to do this on our own. It took us six months or a year, mm -hmm. many people, many hours, and it ended up not being successful. But with C, it's just one phone call mm -hmm. from a bu busy ophthalmologist, and he'll, he or she will say, I think I'm available in August, and we'll say here's a site where you can go, and we can match them up. So wow. we're we're kind of a, a, a matchmaker for busy uh, and uh, humanitarian-minded U.S. ophthalmologists going together with a site that's in need somewhere in the world. So, for instance, in the U.S., there's 56 ophthalmologists per million people. Mm. And in sub-Saharan Africa, there is one to two ophthalmologists oh, in many gosh. of the countries for 
uh, a million people. And it's just not enough, so the people don't get taken care of. Yeah. And that's where the C model goes and uh, brings in additional resources. And then what happens is that site gets better and better. Typically, we do permanent placement of equipment and microscopes. Mm -hmm. And every year we go back, they're more solid and doing more and growing. And our goal is that every community has, has self-sufficient eye care. So we believe that sustainability isn't just a magic pill that someone mm -hmm. takes. We believe that sustainability is a journey, and we're just thrilled to be part of that journey. Gosh. And so you mentioned your website. Yes. So a person can go on there yes. and they can donate yes. financially. Yes, absolutely. They can donate uh, cintl.org. And uh, we are uh, uh, we are guide star uh, platinum rated. Wow! And uh, congratulations on uh, that. Yes, we're very proud of that. Better Business Bureau rated the the whole thing. And uh, we're again we're very well known for being uh, extremely transparent. People can even call me up personally. I take all my business phone calls on my cell phone and they can ask for a tour and we love giving people a tour because once you see the team and see the warehouse, it's very easy to understand that we're just completely transparent about what we, what we do. Wow, so where are you located? Uh, we're down near Costco uh, on uh, Cremona. Oh, okay. uh, it's a 175 Cremona and we have about 12,000 square feet, which includes a big warehouse with a lot of these medical supplies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the staff that controls all of the programs around the world, along with all the other functions that, uh, that C does to make uh, everything happen that uh, we do day in to day out. Wow, and so you collaborate with other organizations and agencies, uh, obviously with doctor's offices. You know. Yes, and also we have a local Santa Barbara program here too because there is a need for a safety net. So we take care of three or 4,000 patients right here in Santa really? Barbara County. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if people really know about that. Oh, they, they, they do, and we try to put the word out, and, and this, of course, will get the word out that to more wonderful. people. So if kids need glasses, if somebody oh, needs okay, a cataract, okay. if, some, if somebody needs help and they don't have insurance, if they need Medi-Cal, we'll try to get them linked up with that because that's a great yep. uh, uh, benefit that they can have. But if they have, if they fall in between the cracks and there's no other way for them to get taken care of, mm -hmm. we're really the safety net Gosh. for visual needs in the community, not only here, but down at the border of Texas and uh, Mexico, McAllen, Texas, and uh, we're, we're really moving throughout the country to try to serve uh, wherever we can. That is great. Yeah, thank We you. have about a minute left. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience? No, just our great uh, appreciation for how well we've been supported by the Santa Barbara community in particular, yeah. because our, uh, our funding, uh, over a third of our funding comes directly from Santa Barbara Gosh. County, where we're very much a known entity. And uh, I'm just very grateful for all uh, the support that we've gotten from our local community yeah. over the years. So I just yeah. wanted to, to, to thank everybody for that. And our growth continues. And this year we'll serve over 100,000 people uh, worldwide. And our goal is to continue to grow until we eliminate correctable blindness throughout the world. That is a worthy goal. Yes. And thank you so much for your incredible work. Oh, you're welcome. It touches so many lives all over the world. And congratulations on your 100th episode. This isn't oh. it, but close, close enough. <laughs> I thought you. that was a fantastic achievement. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And thank you all for being with us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>